I do my opening after I've done all my video for the day. And you'll know it because I've already changed my clothes. <laughs> so to you who don't know me, I am Glenda with AKA GK Fralin, a friendly community. And you're very welcome. Little square that goes around my face finds your face. It was going all the way to the top. And I'd lean back and see where I was. And I have to readjust. And that's the way the camera goes. There, remember the days when we didn't have that feature? It was all guesswork and we cut off a lot of heads. Good morning, afternoon, late afternoon. Oh. Supposed to get some freezing drizzle this afternoon, but I'm really hoping, well, for one thing, that Joe gets home before it really starts freezing. And for another thing that the roads are still warm enough that they don't really freeze. So, I mean, just don't like that. I can't like that. So, I am once again cleaning up the mess because I'm done with one project. <laughs> and... I will probably start another, but with Christmas only like a few days away, of course, we don't have our kids over for our big Christmas or our Christmas with our kids and grandkids until New Year's Day. The reason being, oh, I just remembered something I forgot to do. My daughter asked about if it was okay with the others, I was supposed to ask the others if it, if they wanted to do it on Saturday, I think, instead of Sunday, that she could maybe take the day off. And I don't know now if she still can or not. It's, I mean, for my granddaughter, I made her a bracelet and necklace because I've got a lot of little kids kind of stuff in here. And her sister wore it to school and it got broke. It was on elastic, but they must have really stretched it. Of course, kindergarten kids will do that. So, anyway, <laughs> I've got to redo it. Well, they probably will bring the beads back if they remember, but when you've got that many kids, all within a three year, three and a half year age difference. <laughs> it's easy to forget a thing or two. So, anyway. But, I may go ahead and just make it out of what I got. And, cause she, excuse me, she was really concerned that she'd get that necklace and bracelet again. And, I've also made one for brother and one for sister. A set. So, because as soon as they saw their baby sisters, then they wanted one too. So, and their birthdays are right at Christmas time. So, and they're getting a combined gift this year, but Tiff, er, Tiffany, um, Deanna, the youngest, she, she always gets to get in there on the, you know, because I'll either, now this year I'm getting a combined gift, but it's a, um, it's a combined gift, gift that are several things of the same kind. It's just all in one box. <laughs> so they'll, and my son said he already knows what, which ones they'll choose for their own. But does that make you curious? I don't know. Sometimes I never know when they're going to watch. And so, but um, a lot of times I'll get her a Christmas gift instead of a like money because she's so young and well the other ones I gave them money in their stocking for Christmas but their birthdays 
are all in December and January, so they would get presents <laughs> for their birthdays the same day, all on the same day. In fact, we've got so many December and January birthdays, we just do it all at once. <laughs> Is that chicken or what? Anyway, I was going to do Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer and then have you, uh, challenge you to remember all eight names of the original reindeer. But it's under copyright. I looked it up and I, it was in a list of Christmas songs that are under, that are under pub, public domain. And so they had PD for public domain and then they had the little C with the circle for copyright and it's still under copyright because it's not old enough. It's written in 1938. <laughs> Has to be older, than, I think it's before 1923 that they go into public domain. So I'm going to see if I can name them off without singing the song because the prelude to the actual Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer part is you know and then it names them off so I'm going to think my song in my head Dasher and Dancer, Prancer and Vixen, Common and Cuban, Cupid. Okay, let me try again. Dasher and Dancer, Prancer and Vixen, Common and Cupid, Donner and Blitzen. Now, without looking it up, can you name six of them? If you could name four, you get, if you name two, you get one brownie point. If you get name four, you get two brownie points. If you name six, you get three brownie points. If you name all eight, you get four. Does that sound right? And I'll just do them with pluses. <laughs> Uh, if I, yeah, I'm, at least I'll try to. Anyway, well, I've got pluses on my typewriter, on my keyboard, so. But don't look them up, and don't go back, just name as many as you can remember, and I'll, I'll announce who got the best score, well, I'll announce all the scores tomorrow. So I'll go through them one more time, there's, okay. You know, Dasher and Dancer, Prancer. Dasher and Dancer, Prancer and Vixen, Common and Cupid, Donner and Blitzen. So, you've had it twice now. So, see if you can get those. And don't cheat and go back, or don't go cheating and looking them up. <laughs> there are some that are public domain, but I can't remember most of them that are are um, religious in nature and if if I'm going to do religious stuff I kind of need to do it on my other channel other than just you know I usually ask for prayer for somebody but usually I put with good thoughts or and positive thoughts or something because not everybody you know not everybody follows that faith and advertisers don't like that but I will not deny. <laughs> they can't make me deny. So, anyway, but. Oh. But yeah, my other channel, right now there's only three uploads on the Glenda Fraylin channel because it's my testimony. And I think there's three vlogs there. And maybe I should do some more stuff over there. Anyway. I can do, I think I can do instrumentals without it costing me any problem. Because <coughs> not everybody knows those songs. Oh. And I can't think of the name of the song. Uh, Christmas something or another. But Josh Groban, I, did anybody watch that special? I think it was last week. So good. It was, um... It was all about, I mean, the songs weren't, but it was it was all about stories of people who have adopted children who 
the ones that they had, that they you know did stories about adopted children out of really bad situations and the children they did the story of the family and the children were just so so grateful and had grown so much one girl had been considered feral because her behavior just and they had her on so many medications and foster homes kept sending her back and this one family they they heard that and they said let us have her and so they did and she's just a whole different she don't look a bit feral or act a bit feral to me or even wild <laughs> And there were some where there were brothers and sisters. It's just a special thing. Um, friend of ours. Well, she's quite a bit older, but I don't know that that counts. She's a dear friend. Um, it's kind of my mentor after I moved to to uh, Nebraska. Anyway, she, her and her husband adopted their oldest child, and. Um, he was always very much their son. She said she asked him one time if he if he wanted to go look for his birth parents, her birth mother. He said, no, I have no reason to. I've got a family. How awesome is that? Unfortunately, these kids do remember a lot of what happened to them. So. But this, the program was, not only was it heartwarming, the singing and stuff was just awesome. Josh Grobe, but I'm, I just, I love to listen to him. It was, there was him, there was Kelly Clarkson, and oh, a few others. Beautiful show. Anyway, I've probably over-talked to my bounds. <laughs> or my time limit. So I'll probably cut some of this out. So that's your challenge for mañana. And that still means tomorrow. That is your challenge, is to name reindeer. Santa's reindeer. That is it for today. I've enjoyed this. You have your challenge. So let's hear them, or read them. <laughs> and I got to thinking, okay, what if I get three or five or seven so what I will do is I will do a plus one or a two, 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 uh, for like, if you get five, I'll do two um, plus signs and a one. So it'll be, that, that'll that be your way of, that. that's the way I'll keep score on those. So if you get an odd number, I'll just put a one in front of, in front of the plus, so, or after the plus. We'll figure it out. So, I love you all. And it's I just love this community. For those of you who do comment, getting down in there and seeing the way you interact with each other. That's why I go through and I put a heart on every comment you guys make. Because I want to encourage that interaction you have. And if you haven't subscribed and you'd like to be a part of that interactive community down in the comments please do so and give me a thumbs up, share this thing, and um, I will be back tomorrow. So, good night. <clears throat>